homeowners and maybe roofers, maybe painters, anybody that needs to get up on a roof. If you've got a roof like this, where you can't have access to put like a 28 or a 30 foot tall ladder to get you from the ground all the way up there, can't do that with this because we've got this roof line in the way. So how do you get up on that second story? I'm gonna show you a couple little secrets, a couple of different ways that you can do this. One safe, easy, non-scary way. One way that it's still safe, but it's a little scary. So either way you do this, you're gonna need a second ladder. And depending on how tall the distance is between the second story and the first story, that's gonna dictate what size ladder you take up. I'm a firm advocate that the smaller ladder you have to carry, the better. Now, it's not really possible to climb the first ladder while holding the second ladder and do it in the manner that OSHA tells you is safe or anybody else tells you is safe, meaning that you have three points of contact on the ladder at all times. So either two feet and one hand or two hands and one foot. If you're carrying a ladder like this, you're not gonna be able to do that. So you have to be very, very careful. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, did you notice that I've got my ladder's little helper on here? That's super critical because that'll help keep the ladder from kicking out from underneath you because these rubber stops will grip it. It also helps keep the ladder from moving side to side because it's got these little fins on here. Now, if you don't have the ladder's helper, then use a gear tie, a bungee cord, or something to secure this ladder and keep it from moving. Be safe. Hey, this is where you have to be careful. I would not advise coming up too high on your ladder like this and trying to do that because your center of gravity is going to be a little wonky. So try to stay down low, shift that ladder off. Okay, notice in doing that, I still have two feet on the ladder and a hand connected to the ladder here and just try to do that with one hand. That's why I recommend using the smallest ladder you can. All right, this is where the easy part is. Since we've got a ridge right here, underneath that second story, all we have to do is set up the ladder so that it's straddling the ridge, leaning up against the gable end of the roof, nice and easy, nice and safe. So that's the easy and the not very scary way to do it. Now, if you don't like heights, you don't like ladders, that's not gonna make you very comfortable, but let me show you a way to do it that's more uncomfortable, a little bit more scary. Okay, now I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but if you don't have a roof line that has a ridge that you can straddle to get up to the second story, and you need to do it from a sloped roof like what I'm sitting on, that presents a little bit more of a challenge, okay? Here's what we use. My guys call this a sponge, otherwise known as just a foam cushion. The best thing about these, they're free, right? Because you can find these on the side of the road pretty much anywhere. I like the thinner ones. If, if you're gonna use something like this, I like the thinner ones rather than the couch cushion ones. The couch cushion ones are so thick that when you put a ladder on it and put some weight on it, 
that tends to have some give in it and that just gives me that queasy feeling. So the first time you ever try this, it's kind of scary because it feels like everything's gonna come out from underneath you. But trust me, it won't. Let me show you. Now when you set the cushion down, you wanna make sure that it's far enough away from the wall and from the eave where you're gonna set your ladder against so that your ladder has a good enough angle. You don't want that ladder at too steep of an angle because then it's gonna to topple over backwards on you and when you're on a roof trying to do that, that's never a good thing. Okay, remember how I said that the foam cushion is free because you can find them on the side of the road? Well, it may not give you such a safe, secure feeling having something spongy underneath you and entrusting your life to that. So let me show you something that is a more solid platform. It's not free, but this has been my go-to tool ever since I got it. It's called the Pitch Hopper. Let me show it to you. All right, this is my go-to tool now. I love this thing, it's called the Pitch Hopper. We did one review video that we're gonna link to right up here, so be sure to go watch that one. But this is an awesome tool. It's got the same concept. It's got this foam pad on the bottom of it. And the foam pad is what sticks on the granules and the asphalt shingle and keep it from sliding. So I've used this tool a couple of times to do a ladder pole like this. And it gives you that kind of queasy feeling when you start, but this is way more secure than the foam pad. Let me show you how it works. So you wanna make sure that you do the exact same thing though. You wanna make sure that the pitch hopper is set far enough away from the wall and the eave to give your ladder a sufficient angle so that it's not so steep straight up and down that it falls over backwards. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's got two different angles on it. So it's got an angle for a 12-12 pitch and an angle for a 9-12 pitch. So the roof that I'm sitting on is about a 5-12 pitch, so I don't want to use the super steep one, so I'm going to use the 9-12 pitch. Okay, so like I said, the foam cushion definitely has some advantages over the pitch hopper because it's free. You can roll it up nice and tight, put it in a, a more compact space than you can the pitch hopper. This one's 24 inches wide. You can get them that are 32 inches wide, but if you like that feeling of a solid surface underneath you when you're climbing that ladder, you gotta go with the pitch hopper. All right, so if you've got a high roof and you don't have access with your tall ladder to get on it, kind of like this roof here, or maybe you don't have a tall ladder, but you've got a couple of short ladders or you can borrow a couple of short ladders, this is how you can get on the upper story of your roof and do it safely. Even though it may not feel safe the first time you do it, I can guarantee you the pitch hopper or even the phone cushion is a safe way to do it. So if you've got questions about your roof, whether you need a roof replacement or a roof repair, or maybe you've got questions about your insurance claim and how all that works with your roofing process, give us a call at our office phone number right here, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there, lots of articles, lots of videos, all of it helpful for you. Be sure to like the video, leave us a comment. If you've got questions, leave, us, leave those in the comment section down below. We read and respond to all questions that we get. Also be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. And until our next video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.